We've decided to apply to undertake the QSA programme because we've developed a quality strategy and it was now about how we're going to deliver that. And one of our aims was how we build capability and quality improvement skills, techniques and knowledge. And we thought it was a programme that literally was appropriate from ward to board. My project is a trust-wide project across all divisions looking at how we can improve the discharge process for our patients. CUSA for me has made a difference in that it came along at the right point um, for this project. The project was just about to kick off. I started my CUSA training, I was in the first cohort of CUSA that was, that was run here. Um, and taking on such a vast project, it really gave me a framework to work with um, to help develop some of those work streams and to lead some of that, those pieces of work within those work streams um, and the tools to be able to tease out some of the, the, um, the ideas, the, the answers that we needed to, to, to find to be able to improve our discharge process. Hi Claire. Oh, hi Jane, alright. How are you doing with your discharge? To begin with there was only a, a finite number of us that had undergone the training um, and it, I suppose it has got easier as time has gone on because more people have undertaken the training, more people are familiar with the methodologies that QSA teaches. I've had the opportunity to participate in QSA. When I saw the value it was adding to people who were uh, instigating and leading projects, I thought I'd like to be part of that. I uh, took up the opportunity to have a place and it's been superb in sort of my own development. It's helped firm my uh, knowledge and uh, my skills in terms of managing quality improvement projects. We want people to be talking about testing things uh, rather than piloting, you know, implementing them and, and spreading them, but really to, to look at how we spread that good practice. We've got so much of it and uh, we see QSA as our vehicle for doing that. The more people that have been QSA trained over the, the last year, there's been a cumulative effect in that um, the methodology has been spread and there are more projects that are being supported with the format of QSA. So it's built capability in terms of skills for undertaking quality improvement projects, but it's developed confidence of staff because they feel they have the tools, the techniques and the knowledge, and they're more prepared to try different ways to um, make changes to quality improvement. <laughs>